Hello dear students, welcome to another class of math. Today we are going to learn another topic in multiplication. Yes, multiplication by 100. See here children, two hundreds are, it's very simple, we know two hundreds make two hundred, right? Two times hundred is two hundred, so simple. Then four times hundred is 400. See here, hundreds multiplied by 4. 4 times 100 is 400. 5 times 100 is 500. 7 times 100 is 700. But in the case of large number, what is 15 multiplied by 100? Yes. So, in such case, we have a trick. We have a pattern. And here we can see 2 hundreds are 200. 400s are 400 and so on. Okay. Then 600, 600s are 600 also. So what is 1500s? You can see here children here. 600 we take 6 and put 2 0. 2 zeros in 100. Right. That means when you multiply a number by 100, the product must be have 2 zeros. Here hundreds have two zeros and in the product also have two zero. The product also has two zeros. The same way we, we can multiply the big numbers also by hundred. So here for example 15 hundreds. First we write 15 and two zero. Why? Because in the case of other numbers see here six hundreds are. We write six in hundreds place and two zeros. One zero in tens place and the zero is in ones place. The same way fifteen hundreds we rewrite fifteen like this and put two zeros in the product. One zero is in tens place and other zero in ones place. Is it clear children? Now, the see this question. Now, find the products of the given problems. 11 hundreds. So, write 11 and put 2 0. Okay. The same way 75 hundreds. Write 75 and put 2 0. So, 7500 is the product of 75 and 100. Is it clear? Let's move. Here, 38 multiplied by 100 okay that means we write 38 and put two zeros in 100 in the product okay one zero in tens place another zero in ones place the same way 100 multiplied by 45 we write 45 here and the two zeros in 100 one is in tens place another is ones place that means, children, 100 into 45 is same as 45 multiplied by 100. Okay. So, we can write the, this multiplication sentence like this also. Both are same. It's clear, children? Now, next, complete the multiplication sentence. In the previous example, we learned that if we rearrange the order of numbers in a multiplication sentence, it will be same. See this example children, 13 into 4. It's a sentence. It is same as 4 into 13. The second question, 46 multiplied by 100. What is the answer? Here it is given 30. And here also given 13. So, we know that 4 into 13 is same as 13 into 4. But in the second question, 46 multiplied by 100. Yes, we write 46 and put two zeros. Is it chil clear children? So, then remaining you have to complete. the I This one also I will explain. 10, 10 is the same as dash into 5 is equal to dash. So, what is 10 tens? Yes, 10 tens are 100. We can write 10 and put 1 0. 
in the tens place there is a zero so we can write one zero so 10 10 is same as 100 so to get 100 which number we have to multiply it by 5 think and write here okay to get 100 which number we have to multiply it by 5 you think and write the answer here is it clear children thank you